Only one out of 50 students can solve this. Can you? Comment below what you think the answer is before I show you. Have you done that? Now let us see what the answer would look like. The question says, find the value of x plus y, given that 1 all over x plus 1 all over y is equal to 1 all over 10. But we have to put in mind that x and y are positive integers. Now our first step will be for us to combine the fraction on the left. Now to combine the fraction, we have to take the common denominator, x times y, which is x, y. So xy divided by x is y times 1, that is y, plus xy divided by y is x times 1 is x. And this is equal to 1 all over 10. Now let's cross multiply. xy times 1 is xy equal to 10 times y plus x. That means 10 times y plus x. Now our next step will be for us to open up the bracket. So we have xy to be equal to 10 times y is 10y plus 10 times x is 10x. Now our next step will be for us to move the terms on the right hand side to the left so that we have 0 on the right hand side. So we have xy, as 10x crosses to the left, it becomes minus 10x. As 10y crosses to the left, it becomes minus 10y. Now the right hand side is left with 0. Now our next step will be for us to add some terms to the left and the right hand side so that the left hand side can be factorized. And the term we're going to be adding will be 10 times 10. So 10 times 10 is 100. So let's add 100 to both sides. So we have xy minus 10x minus 10y. Now add 100 to the left equal to 0. Also add 100 to the right. Now let's factorize. x is common so we can factor out x. Open brackets xy divided by x is y minus 10y divided by x is 10 minus notice that 10 is common so we can also factor out 10 open bracket negative 10y divided by negative 10 is y now 100 divided by negative 10 is negative 10 this is equal to 0 plus 100 is 100. Now on the left hand side, y minus 10 is common. So we can factor out y minus 10 and then open a bracket. Now x times y minus 10 divided by y minus 10 is x minus 10 times y minus 10 divided by y minus 10 is 10. And this is equal to 100. So now we have two integers which multiplies to give 100. So our next step will be for us to split 100 by writing down its factors. So the factors of 100 are 1 times 100. We have 2 times 50. We have 4 times 25. We have 5 times 20. And we have 10 times 10. So let's separate these two factors. We have y minus 10 and we have x minus 10. So these two factors multiplies to give 100. So we can just write them. So when one of them is 1, the other one is 100. So 1 times 100 is 100. Now this when this is 2, the other one is 50. When this is 4, this will be 25. When this is 5, this will be 20. And when the last one is 10, this other one will be 10 as well. Now, there is something you need to take into consideration that 
the only factors we wrote are the positive factors of 100. That means there are also negative factors of 100. So this can be negative times negative gives positive 100. Negative 2 times negative 5 will also give positive 100. Now we want to see if y minus 10 is actually negative and x minus 10 is also negative. Now let's test that out. So let me take this. This is y minus 10. We are testing for the negative factors of 100. So this is minus 1. When we find y from here, it will give negative 1 plus 10, which is 9. Now what about this? This is x minus 10 equal to negative 100. So x from here will be negative 100 plus 10 which is equal to negative 90 but remember x is a positive integer so this is not possible so we can see that the negative factor here did not work now let us try the one here i'll take this one first this is x minus 10 i'll take the negative 50 we have x to be equal to this is negative 50 and as negative 10 crosses it becomes plus 10 so negative 50 plus 10 is negative 40 so this is not also possible so the negative factors here did not also work now let us see if we put negative here as well now i also try this x minus 10 equal to negative 25 so x here will be negative 25 and as negative 10 crosses it becomes plus 10 and the result here will be negative 15 so this does not work as well so we can see that when we try up to negative 10 and negative 10 let's do that so we have y negative 10 equal to negative 10 so y will be as negative 10 crosses it becomes negative 10 plus 10 making y to be zero and this is not also a solution for y because y is a natural number so the negative factors of 100 does not work so we're going to be trying just the positive factors of 100 now solving only the positive factors of 100 we have y minus 10 to be equal to 1 so the value of y from here will be 1 plus 10 which is 11 why the one for x is x minus 10 equal to 100 so x will be 100 as negative 10 crosses it becomes plus 10 so this is 110 so from here we've got the value of x and y to be y okay let's start with x x is 110 y y is 11 now the x plus y from here will be 1 1 10 plus 11 is 1 2 1 so this is one of the solution for x plus y now let's go for the other factor so this will be y minus 10 equal to 2 so the value of y will be 2 plus 10 which is 12 why for this other one we have x minus 10 to be 50 so that value for x will be 50 plus 10 which is 60 now adding x plus y we have 60 plus 12 which is 72 so let's go for the third factor of 100 so we have y minus 10 to be equal to 4 so the value of y from here will be 4 plus 10 which is 14 and x minus 10 to be equal to 25 so that x from here will be 25 plus 10 which is equal to 35 now adding x plus y will be x is 35 plus y y is 14 so when we add this we have 49 now for this other two let's try this factor of 100 so we have y minus 10 to be equal to 5 so the value of y from here will be 5 plus 10 
which is equal to 15 y x minus 10 is equal to 20 so that the value of x from here will be 20 plus 10 which is 30 so adding x plus y will be 30 plus 15 which is equal to 45 now lastly these factors we have y minus 10 to be equal to 10 so that y will be 10 plus 10 making y to be 20 and then here we have x minus 10 to be equal to 10 as well so that x will be 10 plus 10 which also gives 20 so the addition of x plus y gives 20 plus 20 which is equal to 40 so these are the solutions for x plus y did you get all the values for x plus y correct then you are on track well feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos and like i always say until next time take care